हेलो डियर ऑल वेलकम टू संदेश एजुकेशन अकेडमी आई एम संतोष वाग इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी क्वेश्चन अंडर ट्राई दिस सेक्शन पेज नंबर 199 chapter exponential power class 8 mathematics so let's start our video and see how to represent a very large number or very small number in standard form see the question under try this section page number 199 chapter exponents and powers class 8 mathematics question is given write the following numbers in standard form and write all the facts given in the standard form these are the numbers we know the use of standard form standard form is used to express very small numbers and very large numbers in standard form we use 10 raised to some power isn't it means we are converting this number this usual forms in standard form by using 10 raised to some power means we are keeping this decimal point after decimal points we are writing non zero numbers only only non zero numbers and before decimal point we are keeping only one non zero number so here there are 5 6 4 these are non zero numbers so we can place this decimal point here and express with the help of 10 raised to some power in standard form means we have to move this decimal point after 5 this is the basic condition for standard form so here move this decimal point after 5 and write 5 0.64 isn't it now to compensate this movement of this decimal point from this place to this place we have to multiply it by 10 raised to some power here we have to write some power some exponent but that number depends the movement of this decimal point see decimal point originally is here we have moved this after 5 means how many places just count 1 2 3 4 5 6 seven means seven places we have moved from this left to right this direction left to right here to write this power or uh, this exponent two main conditions are there what is the direction of movement of the decimal point and how many places we have moved it now see we have moved it seven places 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 decimal point is moved seven places so right here seven and to mention the sign plus or minus we have to consider the direction of this movement direction is from left to right left to right means here sign will be minus always remember if the decimal point is moved from left to right to express in standard form sign is always minus minus sign indicates this is a very small number it is a basic indication that minus sign 10 raised to minus indicates this is a very small number isn't it again see why we have moved this decimal point from this to this because we have to express in standard form how many places we have moved we have moved seven places and why minus because from left to right it is moved so it is minus sign very simple similarly see the next one this number again we have to keep we have to place the decimal point after a non zero number and here 2 1 these are non zero numbers so move this decimal point from this to this so right here 2.1 now we have moved this decimal point this place to this place how many places 1 2 3 4 5 6 six places so write 10 raised to 6 now see to mention the sign of this exponent we must we must consider the movement direction of this decimal point here again movement direction is from left to right as the moment direction is from left to right we must write here negative sign negative sign indicates this number is small number and in usual form we can see it is very small number again see here why 6 because a decimal point is moved six places from its original position and why minus because it is moved from left to right so thus this in this usual form is expressed 
in standard form that is 2.1 into 10 raised to minus 6. Now see the last two examples which are large numbers. First two are small numbers and last two are large numbers because here decimal point is not mentioned but as a decimal point is not mentioned it is always at the end of number isn't it here also and here also see here it is large number now we have to express in standard form means in standard form we are always writing only non-zero numbers isn't it so 216 it is a non-zero continuous non-zero numbers 216 216 so right here and put a decimal point after first non-zero number 2 that is 2.16 now to compensate this decimal point position we have moved this decimal point from this to this place means how many places 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 so 7 places we have moved now see here direction is from in this direction from right to left direction is now reverse in first two example direction is from left to right movement of this decimal point here movement of decimal point is from right to left if movement is from right to left then into 10 raised to there will be the positive exponent isn't it now how many places we have moved 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so we will write here 7 see here in the first two example direction is from left to right that's why exponent is negative and in third example direction is from right to left so exponent this sign will be positive that is nothing but 2.16 into 10 raised to 7 so no need to write positive sign only keep as it is so 2.16 into 10 to 7 is the standard form of this number so this positive exponent indicates this number is very large and again i will repeat negative number this negative exponent indicates this number is small number so consider the last example which is also large number because the decimal point is at the end so these are the digits 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 digits are there 8 digits are there so decimal point will be after first non zero number so first number non zero is 1 so 1 point write all remaining one zero non zero numbers 5 to 4 now to we have moved this decimal point position from this to this how many places 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 again 7 places and from right to left right to left so that's why it will be the positive so right into 10 raised to 7 places so plus 7 so no need to write the sign see here what is the meaning of this positive exponent means decimal point is moved from right to left and 7 means 7 places are moved that's why value of this normal form this visual form is 1.524 into 10 raised to 7 now what is asked write all the facts given in standard form which are the facts we have seen in standard form we keep only one number left to the decimal point which is non-zero number are you getting and we express 10 raised to some power that power that power means how many digits are there see here there are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 digits means this 7 this 7 and this 1 means total are 8 digits similarly see here how many digits are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 there are 9 digits after decimal points so this minus 7 and plus these two digits 6 4 means there are how many places 9 digits after decimal points this negative sign indicates numbers are after decimal points isn't it similarly in this 
नंबर वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवेन देर आर सेवेन सेवेन डिजिट्स आफ्टर डेसिमल पॉइंट सो दिस माइनस सिक्स प्लस दिस वन मीन्स माइनस सेवेन देर आर माइनस देर आर सेवेन डिजिट्स आफ्टर डेसिमल पॉइंट वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवेन सो दिस इज द फैक्ट अबाउट द स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्म इन स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्म वी आर यूजिंग दिस format to express very small numbers and very large numbers so it is very easy because we are just writing in the form of 10 raised to some power if power is positive the number is large if the power this exponent is negative then number is very small so very small and very large numbers can be expressed with the help of standard form this is all for this video we will meet again in our next video do learn do enjoy thank you